Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video. This is my Giant Fathom. This is the bike I just did four days on the Monday video on. And I wanted to show you the group set I've got on this thing. It is the best for bike touring. So I've currently got it set up to buy. It's got the new Shimano Qs on there. See that? So that Shimano Q's rear derailleur is supposed to be good up to like a 45 tooth. But I've actually got a 51 on there and it works quite well. And then on the front there, the smallest ring is a 22, I believe. Got the new shifters on there as well. 11 speed. This thing is sick. I'll show you how well this baby shifts. So I'll put it in the highest gear here. It's in the highest there. You've got to bear in mind it shifts a bit better. Like it's adjusted to be shifting when you're riding it. Sometimes they shift slightly differently in the stand. That's still in the highest. Uh, the big ring on the front, I should say. So that's in the big ring on the front. And like the largest, lowest gear on the back. Still works fine. So I'm going to shift it into the little ring on the front now. Cycle back into high gears. Like I was so happy that this works because it gives you such a good granny gear for climbing when you're fully loaded. We'll shift it into the high. So I mean you're not normally going to be riding this way, crossed over like that. Let's just shift back a few. We'll shift up into the big ring. Shift back into the highest gear. It's so good guys. This is seriously like the best setup for bike touring. I highly recommend trying this. So this has the side pull cues on the front, which I can't say like I'm a fan of as much as just traditional derailers, but it does do the job. Now these chain rings, they're just like a 9 or a 10 speed chain ring. They're not actually like 11 speed. Works fine. Like I said, this derail look how big this derailleur is, guys. It is huge. Like seriously. how big that is did the job so so well I'll show you guys a couple other things i'm running on this bike that are essential in my opinion for bike touring ergon grips just reduces any wrist pain and wrist fatigue that you would get because it's better support cat eye bike mirror so i just always like to be able to see what's behind me brooks cambium c17 saddle it's loose because it's just sitting on there for the purpose of the video but this saddle is so good I've toured like most of my big tours on this saddle, this exact one. Super, super comfortable. Highly, highly recommend it. So that's the bike, guys. Any questions? Leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.